So I'm standing today at the Stanford Industrial Park in Palo Alto, California. This is a place that the historian Kevin Starr refers to as the epicenter of the Silicon Valley. Established in 1951 as a joint venture between Stanford University and Palo Alto, California, this research park was a, a model for the kind of private, public-led, high-tech development economic development uh, that took place not just in California's Silicon Valley but in many parts of the United States in, in the post-World War II era. This was the brainchild of Stanford University Dean of Engineering and Provost Frederick Terman. Uh, it was Terman's vision to try to marry the commercial and economic possibilities of the new electronics sector in California with academic research uh, and to put Stanford University at the center of that, uh, of that partnership. Uh, it was also the hope in the establishment of this uh, research park to reap benefits, economic benefits, of the massive flow of federal capital to high-tech and defense-oriented research development uh, in California at the time and hopefully uh, to bring some of those resources to, to Stanford University so that it could grow, that it could support graduate students, that it could draw into its faculty uh, well-financed and well-funded uh, top-notch researchers from around uh, the United States and indeed around the world uh, and to make Stanford a center for uh, engineering uh, and economics uh, and electronics research in, uh, you know, in the post-war world. Some of its first uh, tenants here at the Stanford Research Park were uh, Varian Corporation, uh, but also Hewlett Packard, uh, and a number of other early uh, uh, firms that really became uh, firms that were at the core and the center of uh, the growth of the Silicon Valley. Uh, in uh, you know in the 1950s and into the 1960s. Today the Stanford uh, Research Park uh, as it's known today uh, is home to Ford Research Labs, to Lockheed Martin, to Lyft, to Tesla uh, and still to Hewlett Packard which was one of its uh, one of its first tenants and, and, and one of the uh, iconic firms in, uh, in California's high-tech development. So here we are today uh, just adjacent to the campus of Stanford University in Palo, Calo, Palo Alto, California, the Stanford Industrial Park, established in 1951, the epicenter of the Silicon Valley.